The research being done at the Van Andel Institute is intended to impact the world for future generations. But already, it is impacting the lives of people in our own community. Through the knowledge of top scientific investigators from around the globe, the Van Andel Institute has brought biomedical research to Grand Rapids with an emphasis on translating scientific data into clinical applications. In the past seven years, we have become a major force in cancer research. Uh, we are developing new drugs, identifying new cancer targets, developing new therapeutic protocols, and new diagnostic procedures. We've certainly achieved um, uh, national status and international status in the past uh, seven years, accomplishing these many things. Well, in the past seven to eight years, we've uh, worked out how we can use information that we gather from patient material, from the clinical research, and use that now to start tailored treatments to uh, individual patients with cancer or other diseases. Um, and I think you'll see an explosion in the next, next seven to ten years now in clinical benefit and how we use this information to benefit patients. Jay and Betty Van Andel had a vision to improve the quality of life through medical research and education. The completion of phase one in 2000 caused a stimulus that has expanded this foundation. Today, progress along the city's landscape can be seen in the form of large cranes and rising steel. This life science corridor is seeing a number of major projects, including Spectrum's Cancer Center, the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, and the Michigan State University Medical School, headquartered in the heart of West Michigan. The Van Andel Education Institute's own graduate school is designing an innovative program for training PhD scientists in cellular and molecular biology, while the Science Academy has enrolled cohorts of fourth and fifth grade students to experience a rigorous curriculum in the life sciences. To complete J. Van Andel's original vision, the Institute is poised to begin construction on phase two a future expansion that will more than double the facility's size. With this new addition, the Van Andel Institute will add 240,000 square feet to become a 402,000 square foot research facility. The overall architecture of the building evokes the rapids of the nearby Grand River with its segmented convex glass roofs descending in a stylized cascade along the eastern and western facades. Interior designs of Phase 2 will reflect the multicultural makeup of the Institute's staff. Upon entering the Grand Hall, visitors will be invited in by the warm finishes designed to match the expansion with entry into the new cafeteria located to the southwest. Moving west, a reflecting pool at the base of the new exterior will feature a two-story glass wall with an angel pattern connecting the two phases. Further along, a pre-function area provides access to the two large meeting rooms, demonstration lab, and the history wall. A new 100-seat cafeteria for lunch, catering, and hosting events overlooks Crescent Park with a two-story glass wall. Below the cafeteria is the library. This quiet space features a fireplace, soft seating, and additional views of Crescent Park designed to recharge and contemplate the challenge at hand. This state-of-the-art facility will continue to have custom-designed laboratories that can be reconfigured based upon scientific need. Phase 2 is leading the way in sustainable building design for laboratory facilities by reducing the amount of energy required to construct and operate the building. Sustainable features include 10,000 square feet of green roof, over 30% water conservation through collection of rainwater and water efficient equipment, as well as reduced energy usage through building controls and energy recovery techniques. Recycling techniques include use of recycled building materials, recycling 75% of construction waste, and staff recycling programs. In addition, 23,000 square feet of energy producing photovoltaic panels convert sunlight into electricity. 
With these enhancements, the Van Andel Institute remains committed to finding the genetic and molecular origins of disease and translating those discoveries into therapeutic strategies that will one day conquer illness and enhance lives. The face of Grand Rapids is changing. The history of a strong manufacturing and retail base is helping to transition our economy into one based on life science. My parents left us with a vision for the future. Their initial vision was to put a research institute in downtown Grand Rapids. Taking that vision, we've been able to build on that in a multitude of different ways. My father, being a business person, also must have realized that we'd be able to leverage that investment by having others invest alongside us. Just look around the Institute and you can see all the construction that's occurring as a result of us being here. The mission of the Institute is also very personal to me. It's very gratifying to know that the work that we're doing today is leading ultimately to cures for common diseases, not only here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but around the globe. With the addition of over 90,000 square feet of lab space, the Van Andel Institute is continuing to develop treatments through basic and translational studies in genetics, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Combining basic and translational studies have led to new discoveries in biomedical research. We are now working towards personalized medicine through our research and a successful collaboration with hospitals, institutions, both locally and internationally. The Van Andel Institute stands as an inspiring testament to the future progress found in biomedical research. As the transition is made to this new phase, the stage has been set for breakthroughs that will continue building hope for future generations.